Do you suck at wrapping presents like me? Here's a quick alternative. Tin foil and duct tape. You don't even have to fold or cut or anything. You just wrap the tin foil around and then duct tape because they will hate you and never ask you for a present again if you do that. And then you get those people who like to guess what they're going to get. Quit trying to guess what you're getting. Just find something around the house and tape it to your present. Like this. No one could ever guess what this is. This one is for Riley. The more you wrap it, you can make it look like trash. So their expectations are so low that anything you could give them, they'll be excited to get it. Merry Christmas. <gasps> I'll admit that intro is a little bit old, but... It will help you wrap presents, because what's better than tinfoil and duct tape? Well, a whole bunch of stuff happened this week, so I think I'm going to make probably another little bit of a longer one, if you guys don't mind. And I finally got festive and set up my Christmas tree. It's my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I don't know if I'm going to leave it here the whole time. It's my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I'll see if I can not let it distract me. Best Christmas tree ever. Alright, before we get started, I have something... Very, very important to share. Last week, there was a hair right here on my hat and it was very distracting and I was unaware of this hair <laughs> not very fair <laughs> but I dare ya I got nothing instead of refilming all the stuff I decided I was just gonna film it because of pure uh, laziness I am ashamed of this furry passenger with a distracted nature so I'm sorry but yes I was aware so thanks for everyone telling me hey there's a freaking hair on your hat why don't you just get the hair off well I didn't know it was there so I'm sorry this tree's already driving me insane so after pole vault last week on Friday, I had a weight session and I hurt my back doing a bad snatch. I woke up on Saturday ready to do that tread workout and I couldn't walk because my back was so jacked out. I think I did one bad snatch or something. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I did one bad snatch. I was unable to walk or sleep for the next few days. That kind of put a hindrance on some stuff. So let's start there. So I did a recovery day on Monday instead of vaulting with Steve and then I decided to vault with Caroline on Tuesday and then on Monday I did a recovery circuit because my back was hurting. So what's the point if you can't even walk to try and pole vault? It just doesn't make any sense, so that's what I did. I'm going back to being smart like I was last year. I'd rather be 80% and healthy than 100% and hurt. Vaulting, I went in there with the whole goal just to make six feel more comfortable. And to do that, you just need reps. So I did a bunch of reps of six. While getting reps from six, I wanted to be comfortable hitting that left arm up high. I figured that out in like my last four jumps and then the poles got small. So it was a pretty good day for not being able to walk the whole weekend and having a bad back. So I'll take it. After vaulting, I did some plyos. And, you know, someone keeps trying to sneak into my vlogs. You just gotta ask. I'll throw you in the vlogs. Oh, who's embarrassed now? And then after plyos, I drove back to Hastings and did weights. And due to my back hurting, I modified everything so instead of like squats i did deadlifts with a hex bar and instead of snatches which hurt hurt my back originally i did hang cleans i probably shouldn't have done weights but sometimes i'm dumb the next day carrie and i decided to do the annual snow angel if you remember i did this last year and uh this year it was twice as awesome because we added carrie and my dog Squish. I always do annual snow angels for the first big snowfall of the year. But the first big snowfall we had, it was negative 12 degrees and there was no way I was doing a, a swimsuit snow angel out there. So we waited for it to get a little warmer for the second big snowfall of the year. So Carrie, you ready to go? Yeah. Squish, you ready to go? <laughs> He's always naked so we put him in a sweatshirt and I found this old black beauty. Ready to go! Woo! No, hey, no! <laughs> Ready? 
That looks stupid. <laughs> That looks stupid. <laughs> but it was really fun. And if you guys do this, send me the video and you will for sure make the intro. Uh, that same day, I got sick of my back hurting, so I went and finally saw the chiropractor and he pretty much said my back was at like a 90 degree angle. Uh, and it hurt when he fixed me back up, but I felt taller and stronger than I had in a long time. And it was the best I felt since October. And since I felt so great so quickly, it made all this stuff really easy. Like the treadmill. And plyos. And wait. On the way home, there was a bright light coming to my left. So I followed it with my car and I checked it out and you're not gonna believe what I found. Clark Griswold lives in frickin' Hastings. Check this out. Joy to the world! <laughs> Holy crap! That's impressive. Well, it's Christmas and Kyle came back to town. He was talking smack that the treadmill was easy. And so we started doing the treadmill. And I was like, it's gonna get harder. And he kept saying, Level five. Liar. Mine is two equals three. Not related to him. Uh, it's level three, I need like level six. I'm way too good for this stupid treadmill. I'm Kyle Francis. You'll get it, it's not that hard. You think this is tough? What, did you say? This, I run upstairs for a living. Did you say? <laughs> you wanna bump it up a little bit? No, we got 11 with a full incline. What a Yeah, no, yeah. Well, without him knowing, I made it harder. <laughs> when it said do the highest incline at 10, I told him it, the sheet said 13. <laughs> oh, bump it up a little. You're not in time. Two, one. <laughs> I was counting in my head. Oh, you yeah. immediately went backwards on that one. You know how small my legs are? My rotation is like all the way up to my Immediately knees. went backwards. That's okay. But I'm well. Let's go up to 12. Okay. And you know what? He couldn't do 12 or 13. We are at 12. And what's the thing? Miles an hour. Incline is... 15 degrees or 30 degrees gradient. John said 15 degrees or 30 degrees gradient. Ready? I win. Good luck, sucker. He's, he thinks he can run 12 miles an hour with this incline. Think? Not to be competitive. But he also thinks if he drops down to his skimpies, it'll help him out. Less wind resistance. He's probably gonna fall. Oh, it's going backwards. <laughs> Five, six. <laughs> I got some of it. <laughs> Not even close. You only got three seconds on that. Some of it, half. <laughs> Sucker. So that's what you get for being a cocky jerk. You were struggling on that treadmill, weren't you, Kyle? I'm Kyle Francis. Getting hard? My clean stores and my legs are depleting. <laughs> so my turnover rate, the fast twitch muscles can't fire and active like they should be. So are you saying I make these look easier than they really are? I'm saying you work out more than me. <laughs> you saying I make these look easier than they really are. You're just what I just want to admit it. Bullshit, I'll never say that. <laughs> I got a basketball! That kid runs like Kyle. <laughs> That's it. Good job. Seventeen. And halfway through.
halfway through the workout, I had to do, we did plyos, and then I did weights, and then I looked behind me. So we're gonna try something fun. Banji? No, you should say, this is what I do while Sean's still doing his workout, and I don't wanna do the rest of it. That also, but it's also fun. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. I'm Superman. Well, my best buddy in the whole wide world, Brad Hartsock, came back into town. His mom came with. They brought their sister. And their sister has never been to gay 90s. So, I guess we went to gay 90s. <laughs> And I've never thought I'd ever say this in my life. But there isn't anything much more festive than a drag show with Christmas music. <laughs> Here's a little contest. So make a video response to you. So the three out of the three times I have been to gay nineties with Brad, Brad has ended up with his shirt off, and whoever and has one of the drag queens trying response, to make him his, their husband. I will give Brad, you shirt off, my notes husband. For this week's What's vlog that? with a ninja turtle. A ninja turtle. <laughs> Brad, you know that's you know that's gonna be there for the rest of your life, Brad. You know that, right? That's your mom. I'm going straight to hell, mom. Give it up for my husband, Brad, and my mother-in-law, and my sister-in-law. My... Would that make you my brother-in-law too? I don't know. A lot of stuff happened at the Drake show that I don't know if I can say because there are a lot of little kids who watch this, including Steve and Caroline's uh, little kids. But one of my favorite parts was we got Carrie there. And she was having a ton of fun. She was a little weirded out at first, but that's all right. She kind of warmed up to the idea. And then she started giving everyone dollars. Everyone who came on stage to dance, she was like, a dollar for you, a dollar for you, a dollar for you, a dollar for you. They usually take your dollar and then give you a kiss. And it's kind of funny because sometimes they're like, Dancing like lip singing to a lady's voice, like Cher or somebody louder like Adele. And then when they sneak in to give you a kiss, they go, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> One of them didn't give Carrie a kiss and she came back like... I didn't get a kiss that time. Gave someone else a dollar and they gave her a kiss and everything was great. What did you just say? Say it again. It was really fun. What about her? She had really... It really <laughs> I'm sorry I don't. And then at one point they saw me filming with the GoPro. Watch it! Who's the first time? What the hell is that? A GoPro. <laughs> what is it? It's a camera. A camera? On a stick? Yep. Did you get this at the fair? <laughs> <laughs> wow, is it a decent camera? Yep. Were you taping me with this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turned the GoPro off, but right at the very end she said something like, You better be careful with that camera because I might flash you a testicle sometime during the show by accident. <laughs> and that happened. So like always, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all those other social media things floating around. Most of them are Sean, Danger, Hoot. And please tell people about these things because it helps me out and I think there's a lot of good stuff in here and it helps people out. And sometimes I think they're funny, so if you think they're funny too and there's good information, give them to people. Quick little updates. I'm going to Reno. It's coming up. Uh, this is my rest week. I'm going to rest and do Christmas stuff. Yeah, shirts are being made right now. I don't know why it's taking so slow. I'm super sorry, but all the leftover shirts that I have that aren't sold are going to be... I'm going to bring them to Reno and hopefully get rid of all of them. Last but not least, I'm going to do another questions and answers video. So what I need from you guys is to ask some questions and I will answer them. They can be on anything from training, pole vault, my personal life if you really care, random question. I'll answer anything you can throw at me. I don't really care. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that looks stupid. Oh this little contest. So make a video a, response a to you so yelling hoot really today. loud at somebody in public. On, and whoever has the best video three response, three three I will give you my notes for this week's vlog with... What?